gold finger, for your eyes only, quantum of solace. These are all the titles of famous James Bond movies. But oddly enough, these and more became the titles of the chapters of a new book on former Malaysian Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. Written by Tom Plate, who has also published Conversations with Lee Kuan Yew last year, Conversations with Dr. Mahathir drew from Plate's interviews with the dynamic ex-leader in 2009. So why the parallel with James Bond? In his own mind, in a way, he felt he was. He was the James Bond who would save Malaysia from the bad guys and from the Western enemies and the people who were enemies of Malaysia. And the way I got the Bond idea was that he was always a uh, a man who uh, felt, yes, we can. Uh, you know, like Obama. So I thought of Doctor No, and I said, No, he's Doctor Yes, because he is the doctor. He's medical degree. And then when I said, Well, no, he's Doctor No, then I, then I said, Well, maybe I should use the Bond titles. You know, in the Lee Kuan Yew book, the chapter titles were were uh, famous movies, Gone with the Wind, and 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 like that. And uh, the question now is, what am I going to do in the book three? I mean, I you know, I've used that trick. Already, the book is the second release from his series called Giants of Asia, and covers a wide range of issues, from domestic politics to foreign policy to Mahathir's relationship with Singapore's Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew. The book has received mixed reactions from the Malaysian media. A review by Malaysia Kini, an online news website, says that gush and glibness spread through the book like irksome noise, while the star called the book an appreciation of the former Malaysian Prime Minister. During his conversations with Dr. Mahate, Plate felt that Dr. Mahate was, in a way, like Bill Clinton, the former president of the United States. There is a little bit of Clinton in、uh, Mahate, in the sense that what Clinton did to isolate the Republicans and take over the welfare issue, Mahate always does that whenever the religious issue surfaced. He would never let Pass and the radicals get a, a, a substantial chunk of the center of the stage. He always occupied the center stage and kept them at the fringes. Having worked with the outspoken ex-leader on the book, Reza TV asked Plate what he had learned about Mahathir the man. He has a very good sense of humor, very funny, and he's very quick on the pickup. When I walked in, the, I think it was the first time I said to him, "You know, this is not going to be like a 60-minute investigative report. We're not interested in your secret Nazi past." You know, and he said, "Oh, you know about that?" You know, without missing a beat. He can be a very warm person, and 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 and, and sometimes also very, you know, intimidating person when he wants to be. Uh, he's a he's a very interesting personality, and also his vision of, of of Malaysia and how that worked, and and I tried to draw him out on that. And then of course we went over the、uh, the Jewish issue ad nauseum, and I couldn't get him to budge. And, and to me, it was my greatest failure in the book. Up next, Plate tells Razor TV what Dr. Mahathir thought of Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew.